So my name is Sky and I am from Morchiba. Well, I was actually um, so busy doing my solo stuff, I didn't really have time to, to miss the boys or the music. Um, I was pretty much, um, you know, I, I'd brought out two solo albums um, last year, 2009, October, I was working on uh, Keeping Secrets and that came out. I released that myself and was touring and, um, you know, so I was I was pretty busy, so um, I didn't really have time to miss them, but it's, it's a lot of fun being back. Um, well, it was, it, it actually felt like the wrong time to come back um, because I was, you know, in the cycle of, of promoting my own stuff. Um, but, um, you know, I met, I met with Ross completely by, by accident. We bumped into each other in London in September 2009 um, and it was really cool to see each other. We hadn't met in seven years. And then after that, I heard that they, you know, were working on a new album and were interested in having me sing a few songs. Paul, he, the older brother, came over from, he lives in France now, so he oh. came over to the UK and um, the three of us went out for a meal and, and um, you know, had a really good evening and we had a good laugh and, and you know, I thought, why not? You know, we, it, it, it felt okay to, to see each other, you know, after such a long break and um, they played me some of their songs that they'd been working on, some ideas that they had, which I really, really loved. And so I thought, yeah, let's let's give it a go. Absolutely, yeah, it's very flattering, yeah. Um, you know, to to um, you know to to be asked back, um, um, and also you know the fans, I think, are really really happy that I'm back, and that you know also uh, you know how can I not be flattered by that? Um, I didn't listen to um, the albums that they did. Um, whilst I wasn't in the band, so I I can't really say whether it was in a different direction or not because I you know I don't really know the albums um, to to say um, so yeah it was it was a little um, it was a little strange for me I think um, you know obviously um, you know because we are still with the same um, managed by the same uh, team so um, you know I couldn't avoid what they were doing yeah. but. Um, you know, I, I didn't really want to, you know, it was it was kind of like seeing your ex-husband with yeah, his new hard. wife. It was a little strange. Yeah, well, I live in the UK. Um, Ross is in the USA. Um, Paul is, is here in France. Um, and so a lot of the stuff was sent via, you know, via email, via the internet. Um, we We... We're actually, I would say, communicating more than we ever have done in the past because we had to constantly keep in touch and let each other know how we were feeling and what our thoughts were about each songs and, and the ideas. So we would constantly be emailing ideas um, to and from each other. Um, you know, I would take my laptop on tour whilst I was doing my solo stuff. I had my laptop top and I would um, record little melody ideas and then email it to them and you know they would email back lyric ideas and um, so that's pretty much how we did it until it was time for me to record um, my vocals then um, Ross came over to my ha house over in the UK um, and he helped set up um, you know I have like basic recording you know equipment at home and we we got a really lovely microphone and, and a preamp and he, and he helped um, set that up and then you know just left us alone to you know to record the vocals um, Ross recorded a lot of his guitar parts at home and it was all done individually in our homes yeah. which was quite nice actually to be to be in your own comfort zone you mm. know I mean b before it was it was all recorded in the more cheaper studio in South London but you know I think it was it was nice to just to have our own little control. There was it was just the three of us, and obviously, you know, other musicians were brought in for for different songs. But um, you know, Paul and and Ross mixed the album in Paul's studio in France, and um, you know, so it was it was a really a great learning experience for me. Um, I, I would definitely record an album like this again um, because it was so easy um, and really enjoyable. Um, you know, just to, to be you know in my own home. You know, put, put the kids to bed. 
Um, you know, I could light a fire. We have a really lovely um, uh, wooden stove fire, so I would light a fire and then I would pour myself a whiskey and I stand on, I've got this little sheepskin rug and, um, you know, it was just a really relaxing environment to be in and, um, you know, so I felt comfortable and I think that you can hear that in the vocal, so I would definitely do, do it this way again um, and um, I think Paul and Ross enjoyed doing it that way as well. Yeah, the lyrics are dark. Um, Paul Godfrey writes the lyrics. He always has done. I, people are, are sometimes surprised to hear that I don't write the lyrics for Mochi, but I never have written the lyrics. Um, Paul wrote the lyrics, and um, they, yeah, they, he's kind of written from uh, on a few of the songs from a character's point of view, which I really liked uh, getting into character. Um, and um, the lyrics are a little dark and in places and. You know that you can find that throughout a lot of the Morchiba songs, there yeah. are you know there's always a thread of, of of darkness there, but it's but you don't really tune into it because the voice is so sweet you don't really. Um, well, it, um, when I first heard the song, um, like the backing track, and I and I came up with a melody, and then Paul asked me, you know, like what kind of story could you imagine? And I said, I, c I can imagine. There's a guy that, um, you know, he has the weight of the world on his shoulders. People are always coming to him with his, with their problems. And so just from that, Paul um, came up with the idea that it, that the song would be about a, a priest who had lost his wife. She'd been murdered. And so he was really distraught and upset and he wanted to avenge her death. And then he goes on a mad killing spree. And he he's so crazy with the madness that he actually starts drinking the blood of his victims so it's quite a dark tale isn't it <laughs> we we tried different things different ideas for um for for the title of the album but blood like lemonade when ross said that one it, it it seemed to stick and it, it was a little obscure as well. I mean, if you hadn't heard the song, you, you'd think, what, what does it mean? And it also looks really well, nice written down. So, um, well, I, I kind of describe it like, like Benjamin Button. I don't know if you've seen that movie. Um, he's kind of born, he's born old. Um, and that's kind of like what's, what has happened with Morchiba. It's kind of a rebirth, but we've been born old with all of the experience that we have of this 15 years of, of being, you know, in the music industry. So, um, yeah, it's kind of a new old start yeah, or an old cool. new start. Um, who knows? Who it's, knows? yeah, it's hard to say. Well, we'll see. I mean, you know, it's, w I think we've all just said, well, you know, we're just going to take it you know, one one step at a time, and and see how we all feel. There's no there's no pressure. We don't need to do it. This is the great thing. I mean, we've all you know done stuff outside of Morchiba. In, um, Ross has worked on a film soundtrack for movies, and I've done my solo stuff. Paul works in the studio with other singers, so we can all survive outside of Morchiba. So it's not something that we feel that we need to do. So if we want to do it, if we all feel happy doing it, then there there will be another album.